Hey everybody, it's John and we're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale and I appreciate them letting us use the facilities. And what I wanna to talk to you about today is I wanna to talk to you about appendix carry. Here I am in my appendix carry rig. Uh, this is how I carry every day. I'm, I'm very much in my everyday carry gear and I wanna to talk to you about safely unholstering and safely holstering an appendix carried gun. Many thanks to Magtech Ammunition for sponsoring today's video. It's the only ammunition that goes through my pistols or rifles and is the best stuff on the range. This one's a little personal, okay? So, so there are, are a few people in the industry, a few instructors who maintain that appendix carry is unsafe and they won't teach it and they won't allow it and it's a violation of the safety rules. Uh, number one, that does not recognize the difference between a cased or holstered pistol and a live or a hand carried gun. So a gun that's in your hand is pointed. Okay? So I hear people all the time say, well, I can't carry a gun appendix because it's pointed at my junk or it's pointed at my femoral artery. A gun that's in a holster is not pointed, guys. Plain and simple, it's holstered. Same thing with a rifle in a case, right? Or a pistol in a case. Is that pistol pointed? If a pistol in a case is pointed at people, well, then you can't ever take it anywhere because now you're pointing a pistol in an unsafe direction all the time. Likewise, a gun in a holster is not pointed. It is holstered. And a holstered gun with a proper holster, with a complete trigger coverage and all that, is not pointed anywhere. The second I get that gun out, the second that I'm running that gun and getting it in my hand, it's pointed from the second that it's in my hand. So a couple things with appendix carry. What we tend to see on strong side carriers is when they hear the beep, they bend over this way. As they bend over, and that will tend to push that muzzle out in a way, because I see people on strong side all the time that will not do that, and, and they end up with a little bit of a wide stance, and that gun ends up pointing at them. I see it especially when they go to reholster. Same thing with appendix though. With appendix carry, if you are, uh, if I'm standing flat footed, so I'm standing classic ISO, I can, if I'm not careful and my feet are too close, when I go to draw the gun, I can point the gun at my feet. Also, for those of us who uh, are maybe a little bit fluffy, I'm less fluffy than I used to be, but I still have some fluff. Um, and, and so the gun can tip inboard just a little bit. Now, well, how that's handled, a great wedge on your holster will push that out a little bit and keep the muzzle of the gun pointed in. Do you notice that this gun is straight up and down? This gun is not canted in, and that's because this is a, a Spencer Keeper's Keeper, and it has a wedge on the bottom of it, so it keeps the gun pointed up and it keeps it pointed. The muzzle of the gun is pointed away from my nether regions. That's a good thing. If God forbid this gun were to go off right now, it would give uh, these pants a real hole and that's exactly what it would do. Probably would be a little warm too. We're not gonna try it, how about that? When it's time to draw appendix, couple things. I step to the line, I do like, just as a general rule, I like an athletic stance. So my strong side leg back just a little bit. Is that required? No, you can draw ISO, no big deal. But I like back just a little bit that does get that strong side femoral artery and move your junk just a little bit away. When it's time to draw, one of the things that we do appendix, like I say, strong side people tend to go over like this, appendix we tend to kick forward. Now, we tend to do that because it allows the gun a little easier access as well. So you see that, that the grip comes out just a little bit. Great. So now what I'm going to do here is, is I grab and go. Now, I've got a hold of this gun in a full firing grip. Now, this is what we call a claw grip, not necessarily a master grip like Paul Gomez. You know, may he rest in peace would have uh, yelled at me to make sure that I get. Uh, but really, for appendix carriers especially, that claw grip is really where we end up, okay? All the time. Now, I don't recommend this for beginners, but I don't recommend appendix carry until you really know what you're doing, unless you've been taught appendix carry. Don't try to appendix carry until you've been taught. If you're taught it as a beginner, it's safe, okay? Once I have that, now the gun starts coming out. Now, notice the gun's in my hand, and as I pull the gun out, you can see where the muzzle is pointed. It is not pointed at my body at all, not pointed at my body at all. Gun comes out, starts to do its thing. Finger is high and along the slide. Gun comes out, does what we do with guns, right? Which is shoot them. Okay, I had to do all my stuff. Great. Now I've safely done that, have not pointed a gun at myself. Now it's time to land the plane. When it's time to put the gun back in the holster, we have to slow down. And I like, especially if you haven't done this a whole lot, I like to really tell myself, okay, slow down, take your time, administrative action. Now here's what we do. Number one, I come back here and I put this gun and I put my thumb, this is my, my dominant side thumb, bring it back over and, and one of the reasons that I'm really testing this P30 is I like that hammer because that gives me an additional layer of safety. If I press the trigger, the hammer is not gonna go back and it tells me something's wrong because I can feel that pressure on my thumb. Now, I bring that and I touch my body with it. Okay, now notice the gun's still pointed down range and my, I verify and I look, my finger is high and along the slide, finger high and along the slide. Now I take my other hand, grab my cover garment, clear it and I visually inspect. Now if you notice, John's still a little fluffy, okay? Right now today I weigh about 220. 
and uh, better than 280 that I did. Okay, so I still have to clear a little bit of chubbies. Okay, I got to clear that dad, that dad gut. Okay, cool. Now I see that my holster is clear. I have verified it. My cover garment's out of the way. My chub is out of the way. It's clear. Now I come down here and you notice this thumb stays on my body. Slides down and I use the muzzle and tap the outside of my holster. Notice that my strong leg is kicked back. My hips are kicked, kicked forward so that the holster is clear of my nether regions. Come up, slide carefully, click in, let the gun go. Notice I have never pointed a gun at myself. Appendix carry, if done correctly, you should never point a gun at yourself. Now, I know you might say, well, John, in the perfect conditions, that's how it goes. But if you start speeding up, you're going to, to point the gun at yourself. I don't believe you are. So this is how we're supposed to do this, okay? So again, we go. That was a pretty quick draw to first shot. I don't know how fast it was. We might check it on the timer. Now it's time to go back in the holster. Uh, and, and we'll have to check the... Um, uh, the tape, but I'm pretty sure I kicked those hips forward and then the gun came back out. Now again, thumb over, finger, slow down, John. Administrative action, carefully holster, slow down. Take your time, tap. That's how you do it, guys. So if you're gonna carry appendix, number one, quality appendix holster, has to be an appendix built holster. Number two, a quality wedge. Push that muzzle out, the muzzle of the holster, the muzzle end of the holster out, keep it away from your nether region. Three, do some of these things that keep you from pointing guns at yourself. A little bit of kickback on your strong side leg, kick the hips forward. Number four, take your time into the holster. Never rush into the holster. Never, ever, ever, ever. And I know somebody's gonna give me a hard time about saying to always look your gun into your holster. One last thing for you here. People are like, wait a minute, you know, I, I got had to do all this. Okay, I shot that guy a whole bunch, and now you never look your gun into the holster. Keep your eyes on the threat. Okay, wait a minute. If there's a threat, don't put your gun away. If, there's, if he's still potentially a threat, keep your gun out. Keep your gun on him. Hey, man, stay back from me, whatever. Okay, but what about when the cops show up? Put it on the ground. They're going to take it off you anyways, okay? So instead, okay, we got all that. Now we don't have a threat anymore. There is no threat. Threats run off. He, he buggered off and did his thing. <sighs> okay, oh, man, everything's done. Now I've got to do that. All right, take my time. Finger behind along the slide. Thumb over. Come back to myself. Clear. See. Yep, got it. Tap. Kick my hips forward safely. Carefully holster. That is the way to safely appendix carry.